Hey gang, Dallas here. Last week we used some simple techniques to get a really strong base layer of gold on our scoring model. Today, we're gonna to fill in all the red armor plates with a mix of glazing and two brush blending. So, let's get started. To create the red lacquered armor on our scoring guy here, we're gonna be using some red ink and some brown ink. And we're just gonna glaze some over the gold plates where we feel it's appropriate. So let's start with the red and just a few drops. Should be good. And we're just gonna glaze this onto the plates where we feel would be red. Just get a bit on my brush here and make sure I'm not overloaded on my brush. We're just gonna glaze this onto the armor. And just use your little application brush here. Lay some red on where you feel it's necessary. And if you get too much, like, like that, just use your second brush and just pull it down. No big deal. Not really blending, just, just getting rid of that excess. One good clean second brush for that. And maybe this time we're red. Now, the difference between a wash and a glaze is a glaze is a nice thin coat that we don't really want to pull up. So we're just sort of tinting the armor with our red. We're not letting it pull up like a wash would. I'm just going to do all these plates in between the gold trim. And I'm just going to go over the whole model and all the pieces of armor I want to be red. And if you feel like there's not enough red, just go ahead and add a second coat. You can make it as red as you want. To your army, to your scoring dude. And I'm just gonna redden all this up. I like a nice rich red on my guys. All right, that seems pretty good. Now we can deepen this effect by adding some brown to our red. I'm just gonna add a couple drops. I'm just kind of get the look I want. This is my my old beat up brush. I just want a nice rich red for our shadow. We're just going to paint this into our deep into our, the deeper recesses. Kind of define the area between the uh, the red plates and the gold trim. There's a little more brown. There we go. So just the tip of our applicator brush. And just start working it in the shadowy parts of your armor. Anywhere along where the edges are, where the red plates meet the gold trim. And if you get a little on the if you get a little on the trim, just use your second brush to whisk it away. And I didn't paint the back of this guy. It's just for demonstration purposes. As you can see, I'm, I'm being precise, but I'm not going slow. I want to get this guy on the table, so just trying to be careful. Clean up as I go, but not spend too much time. You can see how this layer is really bringing up that armor, making it much darker. Just giving it that nice scorn color. Just using the tip of the brush. Let the brush do the work. You don't have to push. The paint like spice will flow. Our armor is starting to gain some definition and some depth. And we're gonna push that just a little bit further by going with straight brown ink in the deepest parts of the armor. So just a couple drops. Don't need much. 
And I'll have my second brush on standby just in case I make a mistake, but pretty much just gonna be painting this into the lines of the deepest parts. Maybe a little glaze. And if you want to give a little definition, you can blend it. Not mandatory. Just make sure I got every place I want darkened to be dark. And I got a little paint here and there. So I can just go back with my solid gold. And I'll just put a layer of solid gold right over top of that. Just to bring that armor back. And if you feel like you're a little messy, you could always leave your highlighting of your metals to the very end anyways. Just using tip of the brush and just claiming any place where I feel like I got a little too much spillover. Just correcting mistakes, cleaning them up. And of course, super fast, quick technique to go ahead and get your units knocked out. You don't have to be as precise as this. You can be more precise, less precise. It's all in what you want. Okay, let's tidy up with some black and see how it looks. All right, our scoring guy is looking pretty good. He's got a nice depth of red in his armor, and uh, he's about ready to hit the table as soon as we get that cloth and that skin painted. By using those two simple techniques, we've got a model that's halfway to the tabletop. And we were able to do it quickly, and he's gonna look great when he's done. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 Hobby Line.